Expecto Patronum! That's what we got. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is so popular. It's still popular. There's still sets coming out, and these sets are great. Some of the sets that came out 10, 15 years ago, I didn't get a chance to get, but now they have some of them redone, the Night Bus and some other ones. So I'm going to talk about a few of them. One of them, like I said, is this really cool Expecto Patronum set. This is awesome. I like that there's Dementors in here, the tree, and my favorite part is the, st is the stag. So we have this translucent stag, which is amazing. Look at that thing. If you get a little close on that, you can see it. It's just really cool. The coloring of it looks awesome, and I think that this would look cool in a setup, as well as I might see if I can find a trans you know, put a translucent stag in my zoo, because who doesn't have translucent stags in their zoo? I may now. So this is one of the new sets that came out. There's several of them, and I have a few of them here I want to show you. Okay, so we're done with Expecto Patronum. That one is set number 75945, by the way, and it's 121 pieces. And it's only 19.99, and when I imagine that this piece over here is going to be a very sought-after piece. I'd get this set. Ask your parents to get this set if you're young and don't have the money. Maybe it's a good birthday present. I think it is. I actually got two of them, like I said. Really cool. I'm going to pull out another set here. What else do we got? So I got this which is called the Hungarian Horntail Triwizard Challenge. So I'm sure many of you or a lot of you have seen Harry Potter, probably all of them. This is from the Triwizard Tournament, and it's got this awesome dragon. You have Harry Potter flying on his broom there with the golden snitch. I believe that's supposed to be, or is that the egg? That's the egg that he gets, I think. The egg he gets from the Triwizard, Triwizard Tournament? I'm not sure. There's 265 pieces in this set, 75946. And it's really cool. The little building there, kind of rock face with trophies in it, opens and closes. And then you can have the dragon there, and he gets tied down here so he can't um, get away. He's on. He's got some chains there. So he really can't get away. That's um, also really cool. And we're going to see some more. What else do we get over here? So I think I mentioned this. But this is the tri-level. They call it the night, the night bus. And the night bus has three figures. It's got... His name is... I didn't know his name, but Stan... Let me show you the back of this where I look at the front. is Stan Shunpeak. I can't read these names. Harry Potter and then Ernie Prang. I don't remember the names of those people. I remember the guy with the... the gets the skinny face. He's kind of like talking and he's got like a Jamaican accent. But he's not in here. But this is um, the All Destinations, this bus says on the front here. We got... Um, really cool. The bus opens as you saw on the back there. Um, too bad you can't make it skinny. That would be fun. It looks like the top comes off. So you can have some playability up there. Um, and then Harry Potter can sit in there and the big chandelier is in the middle of it as well So that's re actually really cool um, Another one and this one's one of my favorites besides the uh, Specto Patronum is Hagrid's Hut So they had a Hagrid's Hut before it was not as cool as this one This one is 496 pieces and it has uh, how many figures one two three four five six figures in this one You can see them all there you have the pro the the guy that's gonna try and kill Buckbeak and Buckbeak's my favorite no, he's, uh, I have a lot of favorites, I guess. But we have Ron in here, and Harry in here, and Hermione in here. And they're having their drink. With their, there's a teacup in there. And you can see the pumpkin patch on the outside. So you get all the pumpkins over here. Sorry about that glare. I didn't realize that. So you get the pumpkins down there. And Hagrid's out there. He's trying to delay them from coming in to kill Buckbeak so they can... Well, he doesn't know what happens, really. But, you know, Buckbeak gets saved. And I'm sure this is not a spoiler at this point. Buckbeak gets saved. And... Yeah, it's a really cool set, and this one's 496 pieces, and maybe 40, 50 bucks, I think this one was. 50 or 60, I forget. And the last one that I got, and there are other ones, but this is the only other one that I got, which is the Hogwarts Clock Tower. I really got this because of all the cool people. It has Madame Maxine in it, Albus Dumbledore, it's got Victor Crumb, it's got Cedric Diggory, it's got Ella Fleur de la Cour, Ron Weasley, Harry Potter, Hermione Grangery. Grangery? Grangery? Yeah, it's not Grangery. But this is the Gryffindor Clock Tower, they call this one. And some pretty cool scenes. And you can see them dancing. I like. I didn't have a Dumbledore figure that I can find anywhere. So here's the Dumbledore figure in here. Then this is at Christmas time with the ball. There's a Christmas tree. And then just some different scenes from the movies. Um, really cool set as well. This is 922 pieces. And it doesn't fit with that large-scale Hogwarts, but it's almost like a nice little diorama to put your Harry Potter collections in. Um, really cool. Like I said, my favorite one I think out of all of these is probably this one. We have Buckbeak there. 
And I like that one. And there's Buckbeak. And you remember, you got to be really nice and, and friendly with Buckbeak or he's going to throw you like he did to Malfoy. Malfoy deserved it. And he, such a big tough guy, and then he whined about his broken arm. And, of course, they tried to kill Buckbeak. So that's why we have this scene here. And luckily, as we all know, Buckbeak survived because of the... Why did he survive? It was the time turner, right? So Her Hermione had that time turner, and that was um, the reason that Buckbeak survived. So without the time turner and Dumbledore, yeah. So these are just some of the Harry Potter sets that, that came out. There's a couple more. Um, I didn't want them all, although I probably would want them all, but it just gets a lot of money, so I couldn't get them all. But I got my favorite ones out of all of them, and I'll build these and probably display them. I can see behind me, right there, right behind me, on my show, over my shoulder, is the Gringotts bank back there, the white bank. I'll point to it easier. There we go. And it's got some owls at the top, and it's got some goblins in the front of it, and it looks like some of the minifigures are there um, as well. So we have some people over there. Uh, I do have a couple of the other ones th th at Diagon's Alley. That's all from Diagon Alley. So there's a few other sets they have at Diagon's Alley, but those are old. And the Diagon Alley set now is kind of pricey. I've seen the prices two fifty, three hundred, or more to get a Diagon Alley. I think the one I got was no bag, no box. I mean, bag, no box. And I just built it anyway. I didn't care for the box. But these are some of the Harry Potter sets. Check them out if you're interested in them. I think there's a shock button on Built From Bricks Facebook page, and you can always click the link there. It brings you to the Lego site and then helps the show out, helps me out. And if you're going to watch more of these and want to see more of these shows, you should subscribe. subscribe to the show. Tell your friends about the show. Check us out on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at Built From Bricks. And I do a monthly live stream. Maybe more. The more people I get, the more live streams I'll do. They're fun. And something I like doing and what I was going to show you one last thing do I have any surprises I think I lost my surprises I don't know where any of them went I don't so you don't have any I have Groot I am Groot I am Groot and thanks for watching the show today what have you built today